Hello everyone, my name is Plasma Muffin, and welcome back to the Terrary Death Mode series. In this episode, I'm going to be killing the Brimstone Elemental and Plantera. So, after a bit of digging on the wiki, the Calamity wiki, I found out why I have so much trouble with the, uh, the Brimstone Elemental. Turns out, it enrages if you leave the Profane Crags biome. And there's no indication of that in-game, except that it goes a little bit faster. And it's not, like, I wouldn't really expect to have to fight it in the crag bomb because it's so, like, like, it's so hard to maneuver in there, but, I mean, whatever. So, um... Yeah, now that I know how to do it, it'll probably be significantly easier. I've cleared out a bunch of space so I can fight easier. And, uh, I'm going to use my titanium armor for this. So, um, I made some new bullets. These are varium bullets, which are crafted with 100 musket balls and a cryonic bar, and... Um, they're basically like, uh, chlorophyte bullets, as in they home. So that's pretty neat. So I also have a quick way to get to my, uh, to get to the Profane Crags biome. I have this beacon teleporter potion, and it teleports you to a placed beacon. It will not teleport you anywhere if beacon is not placed. You buy him from this guy. And when you use them, it teleports you to this beacon that you can craft. And the beacon is crafted with crystal ball, crystal shards, crystal flame, souls of light, and, I, and any tier 3 hard mode bar. So, adamantite or titanium. So that's pretty nice. So let's see. Let make sure I have the right accessories, and it looks like I do. So, this fight should be a lot easier than the previous fights. So, um... I'm gonna go ahead and use my crystal bullets, because I think those will be best for this fight. So, let's do this. Three, two, one.
That was cathartic. <laughs> and way easier. Kinda wish I'd known that before I died like 20 times, but oh well. Like usually when a boss is in rage, you can kind of tell pretty easily, like with Duke Fishron. But whatever. Profane Crag. Ah, this place. The scent of broken promises, pain, and eventual death is heavy in the air. You don't say. And from the treasure bag, we got more stuff than we can carry. I was right, we got Souls of Fright. I'm a genius. Charred Relic. Equipable. Contains a small amount of brimstone. That is wonderful. I assume it says contains a small amount of brimstone and absolutely nothing else in the tooltip because it would just be too hard to say what it actually does in the tooltip. Oh, this is that thing that summons a little baby brimstone elemental. Brimling. Protect her or suffer an agony. What? It's a pet. It's invincible. Or maybe it's it. It's supposed to protect me or I don't know, but I'm not her, so yeah. Alright, well. It's kind of cute. But I prefer my buddy. Celestial Seething Discharge. Oh, this is the really cool one, isn't it? Yep. So this is basically... Allows you to copy the Brimstone Elemental's attacks. That's awesome. Hard to Oh! <laughs> this is a sucky one, huh? Oh, and this is Expert Drop? Wow. Drops Brimstone Fireballs from the sky occasionally. Well, I can see why people would want to use this. This must be a uh, phenomenally useful item. Oh my goodness, it just shot something from the sky. Just shot something from the sky again. Wow. Alright, well, that was fun. So, now I'm going to go kill Plantera. Traveling merchant's gone. No one cares. By the way, I'm not sure if I showed this, but... um, There's some cool stuff down here. Like, uh, some of these chests you can find. So that's pretty neat. I mean, it's just normal... Mm, like, shadow chest stuff in it, but... Still cool. Oh yeah, let's re-equip the good thing. Alrighty. Think... I think I should be okay for Plantera, right? I did a bit of a practice run, and it didn't seem too hard. But, uh... Yeah, I'm not sure if I should use my Titanium or my Turtle. I figure since I'm likely to get hit a lot, I should probably use the Turtle Armor. Because, um... Yeah, it's probably going to be a little more helpful in the long run. But first off, I need more Rage. Man, this takes a while. It's gonna be even harder once I get, uh, better armor. Although I will be able to use Lizard Spikes later on, so that's a thing. <laughs> Alright! I just remembered something. I have the Honeydew. It gives me increased damage reduction, extra defense and life regen while in the jungle, poison venom immunity, and honey life regen with no speed penalty. I'm thinking that might be worth using in this fight. Um, but what should I replace it with? Or replace with it? Or, I don't even know what I'm, what I'm saying anymore. I kind of need that. I think I would need that. I think I'll replace this, because... It's almost the same. But this gives damage reduction as well. And is warding, right? Yep, everything is warding. Sweet. Everything is warding. Including the Burden Breaker. Let's go over to the... Jungle. I love this thing. Reminds me of the old, uh, what do you call it? What was that? Dread armor from the Thorium mod. Makes you move really fast sideways. I think it used to give you, like, more 
what do you call it, more um, attack speed as well. But I don't think it gives you that anymore. Or at least not near as much. You still make attack like super, super fast. Like everything was the blade and glove. But, um, yeah. So to fight Plantera, I'm going to need to find a Plantera bulb, which for once isn't actually going to be super easy. I don't know why. But maybe it's because I haven't explored as much of the- No, I've explored tons of the jungle. Hmm. Oh no, there's one. Alright, cool. Alright, I think I'm ready for this. I didn't bother putting honey up because I forgot, but with the honeydew it shouldn't be a problem. Let's do this. Yeah! Alright. That was awesome. That was not near as hard as I was expecting. Oh boy. Um, I don't even know why the magic dagger exists. I've, I, I've only seen like one person ever actually use this thing. Plantera. Well done, you killed a plant. <laughs> However, this plant was used as a vessel to house the spirits of those unfortunate enough to find their way down here. I wish you luck in dealing with the fallout. 
Wrong game, pal. That's Bethesda's work. Hehehehe. <laughs> Pun. Yep, living shards dropped from Plantera. Nice. Uh, I think I should probably go home before, uh, opening the treasure bag so I'll have enough room in my inventory for all the loot. Hey, thanks for the celebration, Bailey. Get some of this junk out here. I don't need Shadow Dimes. Look how much space I have. I've got 944 slots of 2,560. I think I'm fine. Uh, is that all? Whoa, 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 whoa! Get back here. I should probably put a platform there so my junk doesn't keep falling down, huh? Probably not gonna do that, am I? Well, I may have platforms in here, right? A. Here we go. I like how you can convert platforms back into wood now. And you get two instead of one for each. Treasure bag, yay. Warding spore sack, this is a terrible item and I've never used it because it sucks. Rocket grenade launcher. That's not very good. Cool though, and fun. Temple key, opens a jungle temple door and living shards. Used to craft like a bazillion different things. Can make the brim lash. That looks interesting. I can make the true arc of the ancients, but I need the core of calamity first. Oh yeah, wasn't there something cool you can craft with the uh, broken hero sword? So you can make the terra blade, and then there's a terra edge. Heals the player on enemy hits. I feel like that's probably more useful than the terra blade, even though it does slightly less damage. But, uh, back to the living shards. Oh, right! Oh, right, but I have to wait until, like, way after I've killed Moon Lord for that. But more, more, uh, health is good. Terra bullets, that sounds good. Ooh, hoo hoo. Oh, and it requires crystal bullets? Uh, it's right up my alley. Got tons of those. I like I think I'll save my crystal bullets. Man, there's so much stuff I don't know what to craft. I mean, I can get more of the shards, but... Oh! Well, ain't that perfect? Alright. This is my jam. Like, not the music specifically, although it's cool too, but, like... The event. I have not gotten one of these yet in this world, so I'm very excited for that. Let's battle potion up. Yeah, buddy, let's get some solar eclipsing going on. Speaking of solar eclipses, I actually... Dude, where's all the enemies? Do they have, like, a... Oh, I still have my Zen potion on. No wonder. Whoa, ouch. Of course, the first thing I see is Deadly Sphere, and it gives me a staff. <laughs> but, um... There was actually solar eclipse in real life a while back. Oh my gosh, I actually hit the Zerg potion. Nope, 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 nope! I don't want to die. Please don't kill me. Alright, let's focus on Mothron. It's the biggest threat. I was gonna say he, but it's probably girls since it lays eggs. I mean, hey, bugs are weird. You never know. Oh, we know, might have three genders. But, uh. So there's a solar eclipse back in, what, 2017, was it? And I actually got to go and see it, and it was awesome. It lasted. Less. It uh, didn't last as long as the eclipses in Terraria. Unfortunately, they don't last a whole day. It just lasted a couple minutes, but it was very cool. There's this cool thing where, like, the. Ow, 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 ow. I did not expect that. Like, there's this cool thing where the leaves on the trees had. They made these cool, like, half moon shapes on them, and it was awesome. But, um, and then there are, like, people setting off fireworks nearby, <laughs> so the sun goes out and suddenly there's explosions. But, um, yeah, it was, it was pretty awesome. There's this thing on him. Ow. Ow. 
How again? How again? I'm running out of ways to say, ow, guys, stop hitting me. Oh my gosh. It's always the truffle. You're gonna have to put him in, like, solitary confinement or something to keep him safe. Because he's right below my battleground. Of course I get a solar eclipse when I'm almost to the point where I can summon them myself. That's Terraria for ya. I really think they should be more common, like, at least as common as blood moons. And I think that the night after you or the day after you kill your first mech boss, you should always get an eclipse. Or, like, with, uh, meteors spawning after you destroy a shadow orb. Because seriously, you basically, you don't get solar eclipses until after you can summon them. And by that point, some of the stuff you get from them isn't really useful. Or at least not near as useful as it would have been otherwise. Man, I remember trying to get the Terra Blade back in the day. Because Broken Hero Swords are like a 0.2% chance to drop from enemies in Solar Eclipse. And Solar Eclipse is like... They were just as... Actually, I think they were even rarer than they are now. Like, now it's 1 in 20. I think it used to be like 1 in 25. And there's no way to summon them. And the Terra Blade wasn't even as good as it is now. Because it didn't shoot beams as much and it wasn't auto-swing. Death Sickle was credible, though. If you were lucky enough to get it. It was probably the rarest thing weapon from this event. But, uh, yeah. Why am I using my gun? They're right here. Well, this episode is more exciting than I expected, which is awesome. Death Sickle, yay! But unfortunately, it's moot at this point. I love that word. I think moot is my favorite word. Dude, I could just totally tank him with this sword. That's awesome. Uh, I kind of like a Broken Hero Sword, you know? I mean, that's kind of like the best drop from Mothron. But, I mean, okay. What are the other drops from Mothron? I know he drops the Broken Hero Swords and the... Ow! I have Cthulhu Yo-Yo, but doesn't he drop something else? What am I doing with this thing still equipped? I've had another inventory slot if I can remember my social slot, but whatever. I keep thinking that I'll have another, like, food item to eat here. Like, uh, like something as well as potions, but, like, but that's from Thorium. It's like there's this NPC in Thorium that gives you these items that basically have a separate cooldown from healing potions, but they also heal you. I keep thinking that that's in this because I'm just so used to playing with Thorium. It's been a little while since I've ouch played with mods that have not had that. You know, I haven't died in this episode yet. Let's see if we can keep it that way. Ow! I just tempted fate, didn't I? Thanks, fate. Actually, you know what? I think I should probably end the episode pretty soon, because this solar eclipse is going to take forever to finish, but, uh... Eh, whatever. So... Let's see, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to do in this episode. I've done pretty much everything I can think of. I don't know, there might be something I'm missing, but... I think I'll just end off the episode- Ah! I'll just end off the episode quickly before I die. So, that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. And, as always, feedback of any kind is much appreciated, so... That's it, have a good day. Bye!